Okay, next let's take a look at how we might go about tweening surface geometry. So I'm going to move over here to these two surfaces um, sitting to the side, and I'm going to reference them into Grasshopper. Let's create two surface containers. So I'm going to create one surface for the bottom surface, and then one for the top surface, just there. Cool. And if we come up here to our um, surface tab in Pufffish, um, we've got some very similar uh, components to what we saw in the curved geometry. We're just going to have a look at the tween two surfaces one um, for this one, because you kind of get a feel for the different types of tweening just from the curves one. So I'm going to click on tween two surfaces and drop that onto the canvas. And then very similarly to what we did just before, let's plug those guys in here and we'll create a range. And, you know, kind of between 0 and 10, I don't think we'll go as intense as what we were doing just before. Um, and basically, if your surfaces are aligned properly, um, and they're kind of reparametized in a similar way, you'll be able to easily tween between those surfaces just there. Um, so one thing that we can do that's a little bit more complex uh, with surfaces, we can actually use some guide curves to affect the way that our surfaces are tweened. So if we come through here, there's another extra option called tween two surfaces along curve, which didn't actually exist in our curve tweenings earlier. So I'm going to click on that guy. In fact, I might just group this and we'll just call that tween two surfaces. And I might make a copy of those surfaces so we're not re-referencing. And I'll put that surface in here and that surface in here. Might copy that range as well. Drop that into factor. And basically what we could go and do is we can draw a couple of lines that will serve as guide curves. So I'm going to go and draw a line from this guy to this edge here. And then another one from here to here. And I might rebuild them as well, actually. Let's rebuild them so they have uh, five point counts, just like that. And then I'm going to reference these curves in. So I'll go curve, and I'll go set one curve, and make a copy of that, and set the other curve. So we've got both of those curves referenced in. I'll make that guide one, and that one guide two. Just want to make sure I'm getting that right, and make sure the direction's heading in the right in the both way. Yeah, it looks okay, but we are getting a little bit of a strange error. And my hunch is that that error is actually caused by the order you put these surfaces in. So if we flip them around... Oh, actually, I think it's actually caused just by this geometry being previewed. Oh, that looks pretty good anyway. So we're getting a nice tween by the looks of it. I think it was just previewing this geometry, my bad. Um, but now if we go and manipulate these curves, you'll see we're able to kind of affect how that tween is happening in kind of a more interesting way. So it can bulge out based on the way our curve's working, or it can kind of be pushed inwards a little bit. So you get a little bit more control over the manipulation of how that tween's working so it's not so linear with the surfaces. So that's kind of a basic intro to, you know, surfaces as well. It's very similar to the curves we had at the start. I'm just going to group that guy, and I will just call it between surfaces along curves. And the next thing we could start to look at is, um, I might preview this off as well, is how we might go and um, deal with some mesh tools in Pufferfish. I'm just going to hide that geometry because we might come back to the origin here.